Hello there, all you fine folks at home. It's your host, Organizing Secrets, and we're playing some Fire Emblem Three Houses, the Black Eagle route. Uh, last time, stuff happened. We did our explore and yada yada. This time, we got a lot of stuff we have to get through, so once again, I'm just kind of diving right into it. I'm sure you guys understand. Uh, yes, the Lester Alliance founding day. Get me on this life, dudes. I would be liking that greatly. Yeah, get them bonds. I think I like this. But it's been a while, so I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's go ahead and yes, it's gonna make teaching so much better. Good choice. I was gonna say, I'm probably gonna be stopped a bunch this week because holy shit, I know that I have Honestly, a ton of ton of supports. I'm fine. Perfectly <laughs> and completely fine. It's hardly different from daytime. Right, Lysithia. Right. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, hang on. Professor? Is that you? Yes. Oh, well, <laughs> good evening. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, where are you headed? Oh, I left something in the dining hall, so I'm on my way to fetch it. Okay. But you don't need to come with me or anything like that. I'm fine on my own. Really. I wasn't planning on it. You weren't? Oh, apologies for making an assumption. Hmm. The truth is, everyone I come across asks if I'd like some company. They all seem to think I'll be scared wandering alone at night. Uh-huh. So rude and presumptuous, you know. I'm perfectly capable of being on my own. Of course. Good evening, then. And then I leave. Hey. <laughs> I, um, well, I thought it might be nice to walk and talk together to the dining hall, shall we? Uh, to be abundantly clear, this has nothing to do with my non-existent fear of ghosts. Uh-huh. I'd be happy to. Oh, you must be bored. Fantastic! <laughs> Don't make assumptions, Lysithia. Do you mind, um... Filling the void with some chatter. Some find silence to be a bit unsettling after all. Uh, what would you have me say? Okay, I confess. I am scared of ghosts. <laughs> the monastery is unnerving <clears throat> to me at night. Boo. So, can we talk about something, please? Anything. Sure. I've noticed for quite some time now, you treat all your students equally, don't you? That's kind of the deal, you unless you're Lorenz, in which case I treat you as better than everyone, because he is... Fucking love Lorenz. Oh, you're younger? Come on, Ozma. I knew she was younger. two to three years younger than the rest of the class. Have you just not been paying sometimes even younger than that, because, like, Sylvain's fucking 20? So she's five years younger than Sylvain. Cool, can we leave now? Well, I better be on my way now. Good night. Okay, sweet. Have fun. Goodbye. Support. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is gonna be this whole week. It's just people running up to me. Hey, Hanuman. Ah, Professor. Always a pleasure to see you. I wonder, might you have a moment to chat? Uh, of course. What do you want? Uh, come now. You have no need to be on guard. Oh, I, I, I'd never call I meant to say it nicely. I was like, "What do you want, dude?" Far too valuable a specimen. Uh, well. Okay, wait. Hey, Hanuman. Hey, hey, hey. I am a Indeed, human being. The further my Probably. research progresses, the closer you come to learning the truth of your heritage. Is it not so? Okay. When I learned you bore the lost crest, the very crest of flames itself. I set about learning everything I could about your past. Uh -huh. What was the origin of your bloodline? How have the events of your life been shaped by your lineage? Okay. I became somewhat obsessed, I must admit. You investigated me? Nothing so crass as an investigation. No, I researched. I spoke to mercenaries whom you worked with. And I guess we do have an entire battalion made of people who have worked with Ozma and his dad, so that's fair. And his mercenary friends. Your father does keep rather interesting company. He keeps company with whoever he wants. I'm excited to share with you what I learned. 
but I do ask that you correct me if I am mistaken on any account. Oh, okay. The story begins with Gerald serving as captain of the night. Yeah, if you remember correctly, I don't know about any of that. The monastery, with whom Gerald was quite close. Okay. At first, it seemed obvious this mystery woman was your mother. Alas, that cannot be the case. The timing is all wrong. Uh-huh. As it was told to me, the woman in question passed away shortly before Gerald left the monastery. Yet your birth occurred sometime later, while Gerald was taking work as a mercenary. So he tells me? This, of course, presumes your age is accurately reported. If you were born sooner, well, the story would be quite different. Uh, I'm thinking... I'm gonna say my father was always one for secrets, but I am gonna say right now, my mom's buried here at the monastery, so it makes sense that I was probably born here, so I think that, you know, oh, Gerald's... You two were certainly yeah, I think Gerald's kind of doing some bullshit. I'm pretty sure I, I, I was born here, or not I, Ozma was born here. That's quite a secret to keep for all those years. It was a little weird you that he never told me. Your old acquaintances had little definitive to say about either. Except that we were really fucking However, cool. They all agreed on one thing. Your father and yourself were a strong pair. Warriors to be respected and well, of course we're beasts, dude. You in particular. In fact. Many came to know you as the Ashen Demon. Ashen Demon? They Guys, we have a... destroy your enemies without a hint of Ooh. emotion on your face. We have a title. We're the Ashen Most Demon, dude. That's fucking rad. Living legend of sorts. Hmm. I love, though, how the game even takes into effect so, that the, the, that the, the mean, main character's blank I face admit, is something that everyone else notes, too. Before. The next step in my research is to ask your blood for answers and hope that it is more forthcoming than your past acquaintance. Sounds good. I'll uh, talk to you later, Hanuman. That was actually really good support though because it's got a ton of like lore and plot implications, which is fun. Saturday. We will do a beautiful job, I am sure. Yep. Okay, let's give it a try. You guys got this. Amazing, no? Did you guys do it? Hey, perfect. Way to go! And the yeah, C plus. Hope this is good for something. It is. It's good for riding horses, Bernie. And yeah, for whatever reason, for this week, it just does all your teaching My for whatever you had me. last time. Let's put this to the Which test. usually isn't too bad, but I it. It. How lovely. I worked it was a bit interesting. Okay. So that's out of the way. Dum -hmm. So, inventory, no, supports, yeah, we still got a couple of supports ahead of us, as you can see. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Um, oh yeah, no, I, I do want to go to inventory, I do, uh, because we've got, I want to use all these. So, spirit dust, I want to bump someone's magic up by two. Honestly, I have a good idea about this. I'm gonna throw it on my man here. Trust me on this. I, I'm I'm having good feelings. Um, let's see. Dex, dexterity. I definitely want on Petra. I, Cause I think this will help her her crits. So if we can get her like three more deck or three more decks, I think that should make her much better at that. Uh, and then luck. I don't. I don't. Know, let's just give it to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, did I have another one? Well, oh well. I'll just give it to. I'll give it to fucking Angel Guard. I don't. I don't care, dude. So give her a defense, because why the fuck not? But more importantly, well, not more importantly. Okay. Uh, I actually don't think I am done though. I think I want to upgrade because I have, I have the other shield and needle guard right now. 
I think I want to upgrade to an iron shield. I'm not going to lie. Just one, but, uh, you know. I think, I think it's pretty important. Oh, yes, and I want to put the, uh, the accuracy ring on Hubert. Trade that out for the iron shield. It will lower her weight by one, but... She should be mostly fine. Uh, so we do have a spare shield laying around that we're not really using right now. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it on Caspar. I, you know, it's, it's whatever. Just a little leather shield. Should be fine. Uh, but you know what? Fuck all of that because we're going to fight a battle. We have a very specific battle we're doing. This one! Rare enemies approaching! Route the bandits in Empire territory! So this is the one battle we're gonna be doing, and uh... You know... Normally you'd be like, oh, okay, cool, 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 it's just like an auxiliary battle type thing, right? No... I mean, sorta? You're kinda right? It's kind of like an auxiliary battle? But then it's like an auxiliary battle in the way that it's not like an auxiliary battle at all. You know, in one of those ways? Except it is. But then it isn't. And then it is. Battle in the Empire. White Clouds, Chapter 6. Rumors of a Repar. So, you know, we got us. It's this cool little. I think you've seen. I've probably shown this one a bit. You got your three bridges. You can kind of sit there, block the stuff off. A bunch of fucking dudes. You're like, oh, cool. It's, it is an auxiliary battle. You fucking liar, secrets. No, though! There's a big giant bird monster over here. If you go to the rare battles, you get to. It's a three way battle between banditos, us, and then you get a giant monster. And if we beat him, we get a rusted bow. And we can forge that into a Parthia, whatever the fuck that is. So, yeah, you want to beat them? Because you can get rare fucking weapons. So that is what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're at our 10, okay. So, can't really change that. Do gotta have, you know, gotta, gotta balance this out a bit. Um, yes. So honestly, let's just, let's just get right in it, guys. We're gonna route the enemy. And we lose if Ozma or Edelgard dies, so, like, let's just do it. So, yeah, we got the regular squad here, you know, a little bit of everything. Nothing too crazy, really. Yeah, no. Nothing we haven't seen before. He's the tricky thing here. He does only have two health bars, though. He's not near as strong as the other one was, though he does get... Yeah, darting blow later if we fuck up. So let's try not to fuck up. Also, there's an empty chest here. Weird and neat. Okay, so the, yeah, the absolute first thing we need to do is get ourselves all set up. That's my cue. Uh, hmm. Put me in there. Oh yeah, look at the shield she's got on her now. That's looking that's looking pretty good. Meow 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 And we'll have her dodge tanking, hopefully. Meow 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 meow. Ouch, I would say. If it had hurt at all, but it didn't, cause he's Ferdinand von Eyer, motherfuckers. Hey, Dex four. Ouch, I would... Nice, Caspar! Seriously, dude! Awesome! 60 damage. Die. That was a good level up. That was a really good level up, Caspar. Alright, bring it. Ow! Yeah, die. <laughs> then... They're coming in for some stuff, but it's laughable.
Oh boy, yeah, fighting this bird is not necessarily going to be what one would call easy. Ooh, yeah, you're critting on him? Okay. Okay. Skadoom! You were wide open. Noise. Okay, let's uh, let's just finish this dude off with Linhart. I really need to get him to level ten so that I can certificate him. There we go. That's why I just wanted to get that knockdown of the way. Hey, that was a pretty good level up. Nice. So let's move Caspar up a bit so we can get this experience. You know, I know he doesn't really like need it, need it, but. At the same time, it feels it feels good to get it to get it done. Uh, yeah, I'll throw this one to the burn because she's the fucking best. Boom. Hey, bumped up with bows. She got close counter now. So if anyone tries to attack us up up close, we can fuck them up. So throw her over there. Put Petra right there. She should be fine. And heal her up with... Yeah, heal her. And then we don't have too much more going for us. We're just kind of moving the, uh, the squad up at this point. Pew! Out. But then punch and punch, baby. Yeah, you got punched. Yeah, no, uh, that really wasn't the best level up I could have got out of you, dude. No, I'm not gonna lie here. Would be a little bit happier if you, you know, got your shit together. You fought well. Hey, that's cool though. You know, get that up. Cool, cool. Practice yields results. Yeah, yeah, you learning. And then they attack bird, and we laugh because. Yeah, look at what they look at what they did. Fucking whatever. This I mean, be right? Yeah, not the best level up we could have gotten out of you for, but hey, it'll be fine. All right, working on this. Ouch! Not like great, great. Now again. So, yeah, uh, huh. We do need to be careful of the giant bird monster that is quickly approaching us. That is, that is most Thank certainly you. true. Since it can fly, does, well, like does put see. us in a bit of a, uh, sitiation. Let's see, we can try baiting him out. Uh, yeah, got some lances. That's a nobleman's weapon right there. Stab. Only a fool. True enough. Me. Move him up there. Hey, vulnerary. You know, I'm really not gonna say no to a nice old vulnerary like that. Okay, so. Here's where things get a little tricky. God, I don't. She's so fucking good. And I love, I love the thought of armored knights using bows. I don't know why, but I always really end up liking the concept. Oh uh, yeah, we're finishing him off. Yeah, if everyone had a chance to crit, girl, that's pretty good. Flame spirit, protect me. But we're trying to, trying to bump her up a bit. I am greater now. Nice. That more. actually should go a long way to, uh... I gotta be careful here. That should go a long way to getting, uh, her to start doubling with steel swords. Which is important to us. Get that bumped up a bit. Uh, we can get... Need the burn backed up a bit. Oh no. Oh no. 
maybe take a, take a step back. Throw a... Uh, let's go ahead and throw Caspar out there. He's, he's bait. He's absolutely bait. I'm not gonna lie to anyone here. Boom, boom. That is that. Okay, Oz. Oz, I need a good level up out of here. Oh, Oz. I'm not setting a Oz. Oz. That was not what I would call a good level. You were taught. Oz. Whew. That was definitely not a good level up, my dude. Okay, let's try this again. Level up! Hey! Well, at least Hubert got a good level up. Nice. And yeah, he's gonna come up and hit us with an Osferatu. Sweet. A few of these dudes coming in to get... Ooh, get punched. Nice. Way to go, Oz. Uh, okay. You know what? That level up isn't too bad. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh. What? What? Yeah, you're just gonna crit the giant bird. Okay, you. Okay, this thing needs to go. Fuck it up, burn. I need this thing dead. Boom. Yeah. Level up for Bernie. Oh, yes! A little bit of defense. All extra. Yeah, dex and speed. All the good stuff right there. So it's on its final health bar. Which is fantastico, because that's, you know, what I had wanted. And I hit right there. Okay. So it has. Boom. Yeah, broke his armor, which means we got some mithril out of it, which we will later use for uh, bonding stuff. Don't worry about it. Take my word when I say we'll, we'll be using that stuff. Okay, I, I want him to be dead. How do I... Is that not a thing we can do? Whatever. Just hit with a Mire. That'll lower his, his defense a bit. It did. I guess we can just have Caspar come up and hit the bird. And look at that death screen! Oh! That looks fucking badass. Uh, okay. Okay, not a, not a horrible level up. We could have could have been a bit better than that, but honestly, not not the worst thing ever. So we're coming over here with Ferdy, boom, a little out, but then we finish him off. Luck is always yeah, awesome. Ferdinand's level fifteen. Dude, always you absolutely strong. are. You're so fantastic. I love you, bud. Swing over here. Gonna come in here and hit him. Ooh, we're gonna watch him do zero damage twice. Still so obvious. How embarrassing. Work. Nice. Oh yeah. It's like oh you can move if you want. Uh nah. We're fine. <clears throat> I'm gonna let Edelgard fucking just murder this dude. I'm aware, Edelgard. Armored knights with bows. Pretty much my favorite thing ever. I'll say it. Hey, yeah, use the sword as a sword, dude! Nice! No. Should I have held back? Holy 
shit. That was a good amount of gold. And we, we MV pay that shit. Gets our renown. Nice. And that's, that's that battle. Uh, we do have one more coming on here. I gotta do the battle on the plat plateau. The battle on the plateau. Uh, but this one will just be a regular generic -y battle. It's not like that big of a deal. So I'll just be doing our traditional fast forward through this bullshit with a good tune on. Luckily, there's so much good video game music that I'm throwing on here. I'm sure I went through some Fire Emblem. I may have went somewhere else with it. But, you know, we're doing Battle on the Plateau, White Clouds, Chapter 6, Rumors of a Reaper. And, like, look. Look. It's, it's that little starter area we were at. Sword Dudes. Fucking some other stuff. Uh, I mean, you know. It was gonna drop some stuff. Gonna get some experience. It's the squad we were just using. Everyone's good to go. So, begin battle, route the enemy, Osmar, or 80 dies. Alright guys, see you guys in just a sec. Hey everybody, welcome back. The MVP is Petra, which is kind of for a very particular reason that you will see in the next part. Just note that, you know, I'm, I'm MVPing the fuck out of her right now. Got her several level ups. Bumped her speed up a nice trunk. I think it's up to like 21 now, which is pretty, pretty okay. Honestly, it's not, uh, it's not the worst it could be. Ugh, man. So we find ourselves... Almost done. Thank you. Almost done, I say. Uh, yeah, we instruct manually, okay? Start with, you know, Edelgard. Um. Nice! I know she likes that praise. Alright, got that up to C rank, so she learned close counter. Which Pretty good. We'll help out with swords a bit. Then we'll go down here to Caspar. Caspar's real bad at authority, which is, you know, why we take the initiative to help him out with it. Hey, got him up to D plus with it though, so can't be that bad, right? And we've got Phaedra right here. Who yeah, she's a beast. She's only focusing on a couple of couple of things we have her focused on. So fantastic. Uh, yeah, Dorothea. Yeah. Putting swords on her for a reason. Continue working on that a little, but now, fuck that. We're going to authority. 
Well, we got one left, so obviously it, you know, goes to the Burninator. Yeah. Alright, so that's all said and done. We go to our group tasks. Uh, yeah, horse people are gonna horse. Yep. Uh, let's custom focus this. Have her continue on to swords and authority. Hubert is good with what he has. Um, no. Ferdinand, I want working on authority and heavy armor. Um, Linhard, I need focusing on reason and authority. Um, Caspar needs axes and authority. Um, Burns good. Dorothea's good. P Petra, no. Petra, I need to switch her to bows and authority. Let's begin. I have a question. For I have an answer for you, Linhart. When I take a lecture, I'm not interested, and I get so sleepy, I just can't fight it. I should just give up, don't you think? Close my eyes and enjoy a peaceful slumber. Um, if you take an interest, you won't get sleepy. Mm, I no, guess. wasn't the answer he was looking for. Should still, yeah, still has a bunch of professor level though. Teacher. Um, a noble must know how to ride a horse. He wants to focus on lance and riding skills, dude. You, you already got that. You don't, you don't need more. Oh yes, it's Catherine's birthday. Um, we don't, don't worry, she'll be fine. You're curious to see how, oh, Edelgard, yeah, I didn't realize we'd bonded up with Edelgard. We oh, actually here. super need oh, to get this done. What brings you here? I, I, tr trouble sleeping? Isn't I kinda. I despise being cooped up when sleep evades me. I just have to get some No, I get it. There. I couldn't sleep e either. Either? Either? I'm gonna go with so either. I see. Still, it's ill-advised to stay up so late. I should get some sleep too, but... But? Have you ever felt a sort of longing for the outdoors? I have. There are times I long for the warmth mm -hmm. of the sun. For a sweet breeze on my face. Do you remember what I told you the other night? About my past? None of my siblings had a chance to lead the sort of life they deserved. An ordinary Aww. life. I remember. My siblings and I were... We were imprisoned underground. Beneath okay. the Okay. The objective was to endow our bodies with the power That's, of the This is kind of fucked up, Edelgard. I have always possessed the Crest of Saros, inherited through the Hressfeld bloodline. But it was only a minor crest. And most of my siblings bore no mm -hmm. crest at all. In order to create a peerless emperor to rule Vodlin, they violated our bodies by cutting open our very flesh. Now here I stand, the fruit of that endeavor, Edelgard von Hressfeld. But that came at too high a price. Oh, so we further talked about it. Ours weren't the only lives devastated by that terrible process. Oh. Innocents died as well. Without even knowing so, what we're dying wow. for. And there you have it. The truth of the Empire. So they... What? The... Oof, so, ha, whew, so they experimented on Edelgard and all, what, nine of her siblings? To throw crests in them. And that's how the rest of them all died. Who is to blame? And apparently, from the text you can see, uh, uh I guess it's implied that they were somehow sacrificing other humans to do this, but who is to blame? The Prime Minister and his Oh, wait, nobles. what? Oh? They had the empire under the Oh, world. that My father That's like all of your classmates' dads, dude. Like that's Ferdinand's dad. My father was nothing but a puppet on Oh, side. as you can see, the Christ. emperor is I know how it all sounds. But when you see my true strength, you will know I speak okay. the truth. I have kept it hidden all this time, but I will reveal to you the power oh, of Oh shit, Edelgard's crest. got two crests, dude. Hey, that's my crest. Oh, Ozma's crest. The crest of flames. 
when it manifested for me, I swore. So, okay, Edelgard also has the Crest of Flames, but hers is not natural? whose lives were traded for my existence. For their sake. I will build a world <coughs> okay. Ooh. Ah. never again uh -huh. As emperor, I will change the world. Okay. Swear it. Sounds good, Edelgard. Uh, hey, C plus, and she's motivated. She sounded pretty motivated. <clears throat> uh, so just so you folks know, uh, she now does have the Crest of Flames unlocked, just like I do. Oh, yes, talk to Ash. Uh, so she will now have it activate in battle. Oh, shopping took longer than I thought. It's a good thing I had I'm always here to help, so Ash. Looks like we've got everything we came for. Time to Let's head trot back on to back. Trot, 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 trot. Tell you the truth, I wasn't sure if the money that night gave and us yet, be enough. We managed you to You haggled. Right, Damn Not good, boy. Keepers were willing to strike a few bargains. You are quite the shopper. It's one of the few things I'm really good at. I've got a lot of experience living I in the see. city. Money was tight for me too. At least until Lenato adopted Yeah, I guess, you know, being adopted by a noble would kind of fix that. You were originally that. a mercenary, weren't you? I'm sure you've traveled all over Fodland. That must have been a pretty different life from regular folks like me. Uh, not so different, actually. <laughs> you think I so? think so. That's why I said it. But a mercenary's whole job is fighting, isn't it? Must be a pretty tough way to live. Eh, it wasn't so bad. Wow, I guess you must get used to it. That's really incredible, though. Oh. What's, what's, what's up, Ash? You seem pretty pumped about something. I had no idea they sold this book yes. around here. I haven't seen well, this book for ages. Well, there it is, right there. What's the book? Lug and the Maiden of Wind. It's a well-known tale of Chivalry oh. and Vargas. Lug is the King of Lions. This book is full of his exciting adventures. I've loved this since I was a kid. It was what got me learning to read. Oh no, Jimmy, Ruffian! Hey, creep! You tell him, Anna. Merch. What the? Somebody catch that thief! Cut him in half! <laughs> Please, calm down, ma'am. You calm down, kid. If he gets away with that valuable merch, it'll be a huge. Oh no, for the, me. the Anna is mad. Yeah, allow me to compensate you. Are you sure about that, Ash? Can I hand out some ka -ching? Are you serious, kid? I mean, no objections over here. But that sounds crazy. Don't you uh, worry. Oh, oh Ash is going to counter thief him. That's what I'm talking about. Head on back to the monastery, Professor. I'll take care of everything okay. here. Go goodbye, Ash. Goodbye. Goodbye, Ash. And we've supported. Oh boy. Okay, Annette wants to talk to us now. Hello, Professor. Do you have a moment? Sure. I mean, of course. Well, I have this book of battle tactics that I borrowed uh -huh. from the knights. There's one part that I just don't understand. Do you think you could explain it to me? I'll leave it to me. Great. Thank you so much. It's about this diagram here. I don't get why the knights are grouping up in that forest there. I just can't see the advantage to a formation like that. Yay! I Yay! You really we are, are the teacher. best teacher! I, I'm always happy to help. Take, we're gonna take the compliment. I knew asking you was the right idea. <laughs> I just love Which is good. It's cool to learn That's new stuff. Seriously. Academy. I want to learn magic, battle tactics, martial arts, and, and well... Uh -huh. stuff. I'm learning more now than I have in my whole entire life. Speaking of, I better go visit the library for some research before magic practice, which is just before. Jeez, Annette. Uh, don't overdo it, girl. You wear yourself out. That's just not possible. I always find it's more tiring to laze around doing nothing. I've never been any good at that. I have to have some. Mm -hmm. Like on my days off. I need to get up early and take care of the cleaning first, or I just can't relax. You know I, uh, no, no, I'm a lazy bomb. But a day without accomplishments is completely wasted. Not to mention... Oh, wait. Uh, what? Oh, no. I was supposed to be on cooking duty today. Oh, I completely forgot. 
Sorry, Professor, but I have to run. Thanks Please be careful. Now. No running in the halls. Annette! God, I love this voice actress. She's so good as Annette. It's, like, it's fucking perfect, dudes. Also, yeah, C support. Continue on? Yeah. Amazing, yes. No? Way to go, team. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's How cool you learned recover. And authority. And more authority. Sweet. Roll. Okay. Uh, it's fucking haircut wants to chat. Yeah, I'm always down to talk. Professor. Yes, we need to do our B support, Lorenz. I I know, but we have the B support because I'm working on recruiting you. You remember? I'm trying to get you on my team. Also, I've been getting more complaints. What did I tell you about falling victim to such salacious and slanderous rumors? Mm. As I've told you, there uh. is obviously a conspiracy mm. against me. There is mm. no manner in which I could possibly uh. be considered bothersome. The girls actually do seem bothered. Professor, I assure you, you have been deceived. My adversary has poisoned the hearts of these ladies against me. The plot goes <laughs> deeper than I thought. The confidence. Uh, you need to control yourself. But... <sighs> If you truly I do. Insist, I do. Please understand, Professor. I am not some scoundrel. I know. I know you're not trying to take anyone to the bone I zone, dude. You're just at, you, you want to wine and dine so that you can find our noble line by someone good for your wife. stuff. I get it. It is a rigorous process. My I get it. Has the very highest standards for appearance, grace, temperament, and pedigree. So commoners are excluded? Typically, yes. Even if others are sometimes critical of that notion. For the nobility, mm -hmm. marriage is not merely a union of individuals. It is also a union of families. It would not benefit House Gloucester to be tied to a family of powerless commoners, I mean... would it? To achieve supremacy, it is necessary for my line to be tied yeah. to have an influential family. That is the best path to peace and prosperity for all of Fodlan. So as you can see, the fate of the whole world rests upon my shoulders. On your shoulders? That's a remarkable responsibility. It is nothing out of the ordinary. Those of us with noble blood are born to this duty, you know. Well, now I know. That being said, to avoid misunderstandings, I, guess. I shall restrain myself until things calm Sweet. down. Sweet. I would rather not cause trouble for you, after all. Hey, be support. Okay. So once again, we have to decide on what we're doing. Uh, honestly, oh yeah. Well, before I even do that, I, I need to get my certification knocked out before I fucking forget. Cause God knows I'll forget. Um. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have him priest. I passed. Well done, me. Yes. So that should be everyone, right? I'm, I'm do my double check. In there, in there, in there. Bueno, 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 bueno. Yes. So everyone is good to go in that regard. I uh, oh, I kind of lost one by the blacksmith. If I can forge... Oh, well. Okay, before I even go to the blacksmith... I gotta store all that extra bullshit we got. It's a very important thing to do. Okay. Oh, yeah, is anyone else... Oh, fuck, dudes. No, we'll do that next time. This one's getting long. But I do want a blacksmith. Can I forge? I could forge some stuff there. Uh, I could forge that into an iron axe. It's got the... The Parthea. Oh, God. Unlocks a professor level A+. What? 
What the fuck is this thing? And you need ten mithril and I only have four? Okay, okay, well. At least I'm gonna have a really good weapon later. Uh, Petra, can we turn your... Oh, cool, we can turn your steel sword into a leaven sword. That's kind of cool, but maybe not necessarily what I need. And we can turn the armor slayer into an armor slayer plus. That's that's actually pretty cool. We gotta keep that in mind for later. But, uh, oh yeah, so the venom edge. No, I need a, absolutely need to get me a uh, killing edge. Forge the killing edge. But then, let's find that killing edge. Oh, see, what the fuck is that? What is, what is, what is this? Is it a brave weapon? Is it a, I don't know. But let's turn into this into a killing edge plus. And inventory. And you know what? Let's just throw this very, very nice killing edge plus on Petra. Because I feel like she's going to be able to really bring out the best in that. Kind of very excited. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna definitely seminar this time. I always think that's a pretty a pretty good way to go about things. Um, how can we learn too much crazy stuff here? Um, whew. Maybe not. I want a seminar, but I don't like seminaring when there's so little stuff. I battle. No. Fine, I'll just I'll seminar with Han Mom. So he's teaching us all that good stuff. We're learning. Getting all that knowledge. Still have much yes, to but you're getting Work there. Alright, alright. Motivation up. Which is good, because we got another teaching session right here. We'll prep for this teach sesh. Start with we'll start with Edelgard. Um Good, got that up to C. Ooh. Got that uh What that was Something times three. Uh, wait, that was wait. Yeah, so nice. So we can actually make you faster because it'll take three weight off of stuff. Simple. Which is good when you're a big bulky, bulk big knight person. Uh, and we'll just work on her authority. Hey, she got a perfect. So we can slip into one of those. Good to go. Then we have the burn up here. Uh, yeah, it's working. Hey, got another perfect deal with her too, so we get to do a little bit more. And finally, we top things off with Linhart. Hey, and a perfect with Wow! All three of those were a second perfect. It is nice. So we've constructed. We've, we've group tasked. We've got some goals. Goals! We've got the goals. We've got goals. We've got stuff. We're trying to learn. Yep, everyone's good. I like their goals. Perfect. She wants to focus on being a big bulky big bulk, but she already is. So now nah, you chill. Okay. Guess we'll go ahead and bond with Marianne now. Whew. I ask for guidance. This is truly the price we pay for being popular. Uh, professor, I suppose you came by. Today yes. Too? By that I mean I'm just passing by. I see. Well, that's why I'm Okay. Here. What are you, are you praying for? Oh, um. Nothing specific. I only call upon the goddess to give thanks, or perhaps to ask for protection. Uh huh. Anyhow, I should be on my way. You have a moment to chat. Um. Okay. I 
I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm kind of speeding through her stuff as soon as she says stuff. I think we've we've already gotten we've already gotten this this combos before. But I'm still why is that? But you know, I still want to show it in case you're not watching like the gold deer route. No particular reason. I'm simply not. But this episode is getting long, so I'm trying. Uh, I'm sorry to have disturbed you. No. But I'm just trying to get get through it, because it's just Marianne being really quiet and having no, uh... Please, just ignore me. I, um, have to be going. See. Goodbye, Professor. And she leaves. It was just her having no confidence, which is, you know, that's how she is. We did support up, though. Bueno! Bueno, 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 bueno. Look, Professor. I'm glad. Hey, perfect. Nice, guys. Way to go. Yes. Yes. Excellent. My efforts were not. I'm glad. Not a hey, reason waste. level three. Okay. So we each have to do something very special for this week. It's a. It's. It's a little weird, I think. But it is also something we'll we'll get to later. Uh. Oh yeah, we can bond with Ferdy, but we have to wait. It'll take some time before we can deepen this bond. So we actually have to wait for a, a certain event of some sort to pass before we can we can personally. Oh, the same goes with Ferdinand. Nice. But yeah, we'll get those supports knocked out next time. Because for us here, we're uh, we're we're ending things. This has been your favorite boy organizing secrets. You've been watching Fire Emblem Three Houses, The Black Eagles, baby. And uh, next time, we're going to go ahead and do the story battle and, like, weird shenanigans. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit differenter than it often is. And I hope that you're, you know, ready for this. I'm excited. You're excited. Black Eagles are excited. I'll see you guys next time.